So here's a Ubuntu booth here at uh, Computex. What are you showing here? Um, we're showing here is the Ubuntu for Android. So what you're seeing now is the Motorola x 2 It's built by Motorola and the hardware is basically the same from what you bought from the market. So the docking itself is a pretty simple thing. It's a HDMI connector and the USB and the power adapter. So, so how many USBs? They all work? Uh, there is uh, no, it's not working right now because I undocked the phone. So there's a USB hub. To, to split the USB resource to each other. So uh, here is the thing. You can see the four Androids still running Android. here. Yeah, Android. So you can even launch the, the uh, Android market on the phone and install the application, whatever you need. And so it's stuck it while it's there, without going back to the menu. Yeah, you can go, yeah. uh, you can, uh, you can dock, dock at any point, or you have to dock while it's in the menu. Can you dock it yeah. now? Yeah, I can dock it now. So when it dock back, uh, it will launch Ubuntu automatically, like switching in a few seconds. So for now, it's like oh, five seconds, I would say. So when you go back to uh, Ubuntu, you can use what you usually do, like Chromium browser, your daily work, like Thunderbird, or access your, your Google Calendar, your Google Docs online. So that's pretty easy. But another fancy thing is that we integrate the database on the Android side. So for example, if I want to search the contacts on my Android, so I just simply use the Unity Lens and type the name. No, it's type is me actually. Nice. So can we check you, your contact info? Yeah. So when you click on the icon, it actually will launch another. Uh, yeah. Post close. Yeah. Launch. Launch the Android side, and you will see the phone is calling, and my phone will be ringing in in a few seconds. Does this one run Android? Uh, no, this I one is not. <laughs> this one's a pure Ubuntu. So you can it's call it's, from Ubuntu. That's cool. Yeah, yes. So you can actually see how how the Android function is still working on the Ubuntu. So yes, I see that's one of the most visited websites on devices. Very yes. cool. So okay. it's uh, fast enough? Uh, it's the basic requirement of hardware for now. For for the further further product, we will probably re need a faster phone on a faster chipset. Like mm -hmm. uh, the basic requirement now is for one point. 1.4 dual core CPU and 512 uh, DRAM required on the phone for both operating system running. So things like uh, we, we can also run uh, the VDI solution on the, this device too. So it's most like a, a client for the cloud. So when, when you, I, I would just close this one. Okay? So, when users go back to home and they need to access their Windows machine in the office from the office from their work, so they just click on the button and connect through RDP protocol or Citrix v VMware. So you can see a real Windows desktop running on this device nice. through RDP protocol. So you can see uh, the whatever you, you are launching yeah. like. Uh, Office, Access, Word, yeah. Excel, it will launch immediately here. But that's not the coolest thing. You can also run the uh, application like a native application on the client side. Like you will see there's a uh, Excel file running seamlessly with Ubuntu desktop. So you see here it's like more like a natively a native application running on How does that work? It's through RDP. It's part of the feature of RDP protocol. Is so that the remote desktop protocol or what yes, it's called? Yes, it's remote desktop uh, protocol. It's defined by Microsoft. And it's smooth? Yes. <laughs> and it's like a real app? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And now you can add some new stuff and yes. it's going to work? Yes. And so, uh, do you need a server for that or can you just yeah, you do it over the internet? Yeah, you will need a server that, like, for instance, the, the this demo, we, we asked for a server on the Amazon EC Cloud. So we actually installed the Ubuntu, that, but no, Windows Server 2008 version on the Amazon EC Cloud and put Office Suite 2000, uh, 2010 on it as well. As well. 
So that's why you see the Excel running. That there. requires a lot of uh, buying, no? You might have to buy a Windows server, you have to buy a... Uh, yes. But yes. can people just pay $5 and get Office for a few hours? Yeah, I know. You, you, you need to ask Microsoft. They could, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. so, um, so it's a cool feature. Yeah. So is this the latest version of Ubuntu 12 point? Yes, it is. And uh, what's announced for the next being making it faster and fixing bugs or? Uh, for now, this is more like a demo purpose for our customer, like OEM, ODM. But it's not really available for end user now. So what what we will end user get is actually buy from the a phone manufacturer like HTC, Sony, or, or ZTE, Huawei in the China. So that, that's something when user will get their their Ubuntu phone is probably uh, soon, I'll say. I don't know when it will going to happen, but soon, I said. <laughs>